All right, so we're all here at Shriekfest 2021. We're having a good time, finally hanging out with some other humans. And uh, why don't you go ahead and introduce yourself. Tell us what you're here to promote, man. Sure. My name is Jeffrey Howe, and I'm here with a short script named Tramps. It's a sci-fi rom-com. Okay. It's basically, uh, it happened one night in space. Okay. Okay. <laughs> now, you, I've seen you here a couple of times. So, like, how many times have you had something in competition here? Three, four, I, I've lost track. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, I mean, like, but I mean, getting in competition at all is impressive. And then, you know, like it's it, like, there's no nepotism. They don't shop around. So like the fact that you make it in three or four times at all, I mean, that, that, that's got to say something, right, bro? I'm absolutely happy every time I make the finals of this competition. Okay. Well, I mean, just, you know, we're having a good time. So uh, do you want to talk a little bit about everything that you've had in here? Or do you only want to talk about right now? <laughs> It's up to you, bro. Well, you know, I've had features and I've had shorts. This one's a little weird because, you know, I, I submitted it back in, you know, 2019. Okay, yeah. It's a short, and in the interim, you know, as time went by, I kind of got the itch and eventually it turned into a, a feature script. I'm sorry, it's so crazy loud here. You say so. It's a feature now. You're saying. Yeah, yeah, it's a feature okay. script now. It, you know, but I changed the name. It's it's, it's called Starcrossed. And, you know, it's won some competitions. Uh, but oh, it's, right on. But it's like, I didn't want to enter it here while I had the short version here because it just seemed kind of wrong. <laughs> okay, all right, fair. <laughs> Maybe next year. Okay. All right, man, well, uh, you know, like, like it's, 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 a, it's a good crowd, it's a good festival, and, like, you got good energy, and I've always appreciated the, the, the conversations that we've had. But uh, I'll let you get on with your evening right after I ask you, what do you think is the craziest movie you've ever seen? Any genre. Craziest, the craziest movie I've ever seen was at a festival at a midnight showing. Okay. It was That's a, usually a good spot. It was a feature called 29 Needles, and it was physically painful to sit through. But at the end of it, it's kind of like I got night. It's like I could tell that that someone had a very personal message to get across. I didn't okay. know what it was, but it didn't matter. I could, all I could, right. you know, but it was all, you know. And, you know, yeah, it was a little torture porny, but apart from that. <laughs> 29 Needles. I'm going to have to look this. I haven't even heard of this. Right on. You know, a lot of a lot of festivals turned it down because they said, there's just way too much naked flesh here. Okay. Um, is, it, is it like torture porny? Is it really gory? There were I thought that's a bad thing. I'm just curious. There, there was a lot of what I would term no, not necessarily attractive naked human flesh that had trauma inflicted on it voluntarily. Nocturnal animals? Have you seen nocturnal animals? I've heard it. I've heard about it. I haven't seen it. The beginning of it. It's it's like confrontational art, and it's there, there was there was and some, it's like it's like very extremely large like, like women. Like tra transgression for the sake of transgression. Yeah, that kind of shit. Yeah. yeah. Well, this is the beginning. Okay, fair enough. Anyway, <laughs> I've got a, it's got a great T-shirt though. Oh yeah, there's <laughs> got bone saw. Oh right on, right on. And very memorable scene with the bone saw. <laughs> fair, fair. All right, man. Well, um, best of luck to you. Thank you. And is there anything at the festival that you're looking forward to more than anything else? Or? You know, actually, the thing I always love about about the festivals is catching stuff in the shorts blocks. They're so good, right? Because, because where else? They're so they're so careful about what, what they select here because they only got one screen, right? And you just see stuff that you're not going to see anywhere else. I mean, 100% seriously, that's one of the things I really think is great about this festival. That like the more I talk to people who are here that have been in other festivals, also really appreciate it, the fact that they program one block every block of time yeah you know you don't have to just pick and choose which of the seven movies you're going to go see there's only one option yeah and so the bar is pretty high yeah yeah there you go all right take care man